Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I wanted to do a quick follow-up with our NVIDIA Shield TV and the external storage feature we talked about yesterday. Definitely watch that video uh, if you haven't already. It's basically a feature uh, that is now in Android M, or Marshmallow 6.0, whatever you want to call it, that allows you to use external storage like you would internal storage and for a 16 gigabyte shield device like the one I have here that's actually a very attractive thing because uh, you don't have a lot of internal storage so if you could plug in a, a big hard drive or something you can really pick up a lot of space the problem is is that it gets a little bit tricky especially if you ever want to take that storage out and I detailed a lot of that in yesterday's video so today what we're going to do uh, is look at backing out of that internal storage configuration because you might want to do that if you want to try to move to a different card or uh, do something a little bit differently than you were doing before. The challenge though is that there's no way to move it from one card to another because it can only pair up with one at a time. So I did discover there was a way to grab your data back from the card, your game data, and put it back onto your internal storage. So you definitely want to do that first before you do anything else because uh, there's really no guide to this. So this is going to be kind of the guide. So what you do is go into your settings menu, uh, go back to storage. If you go over to the internal storage, you'll see it now has an option for moving data. And what that's going to do is grab all of your Android data from the card and move it back to internal storage. However, that eliminates a lot of the advantages you get of using this internal storage mechanism because it moves all of that supplementary data for apps that you might have moved to the card. Card, uh, also back over to the internal storage. So if your internal storage doesn't have enough room, uh, you got to free some space up on the card before you do this. And I apologize for this being so complicated, but uh, this unfortunately is how Google has decided to make all this stuff work. And it's really, really complicated and may not be uh, worth doing in the end. Uh, so now what we're going to do is actually get rid of the card uh, pairing on here. And hopefully this is going to work. What I did do before I recorded the video was ensure that my uh, synchronization between my uh, Shield device and Google was uh, up to date. So if this doesn't work out, I can just wipe it out and then pull down that backup image from the cloud. I might have to relocate my ROMs and stuff, but those are already on an, a USB stick, so I think I'm going to be uh, okay here. So what we're going to do uh, is go over to our SanDisk card that we set up yesterday. I'm going to tap on this and then say Erase and Format. Now you're going to see here it says Move Data Now, and this is very counterintuitive because the data is currently on my internal storage. If I click on this, it's going to want to move it back to the card, and we don't want to do that. So don't uh, click that if you have already moved to internal storage like you saw a few minutes ago. So we're going to go to that SanDisk card. I'm going to go to Erase and Format. It's going to give us a warning. Uh, you do have the option to back up your app, so you can uh, move any apps that you have back over to your uh, main storage if you want to do that. I'm not too concerned about well, Actually, maybe we'll do that. Let's move uh, Castle of Illusion back over. So let's go and move that uh, back to internal storage. Now that goes a lot quicker. That wasn't 600 megabytes it transferred. It was only 12 megabytes, even though it says it had 600 on there. I, long story, we, we're not even going to get into it. So uh, we did that. Uh, we'll go back over to uh, our uh, thing here. It's finding no apps. We'll back out again. Uh, we'll go over here to format and we'll see what happens when this is done because I want to see if MAME and all the other stuff that I have on my shield is going to be back the way it was before I started this entire adventure in the first place. So uh, let's let this thing format and we'll come back when it is done. All right, that actually went very fast because again, we already moved that data over before we uh, initiated that format. So the first thing we're going to try here is MAME. If MAME works, I think we're going to be in good shape. So I'm going to tap on MAME and yes, so I think we're good there. Uh, my next uh, thing is going to check out my Pac-Man 256. This is the game I play, believe it or not, the play, game I play the most on the shield. And I want to see if it retained all of my save game data. And I'll know when I see how many power-ups I have available to me here. So wait for Pac-Man to finish loading up here. Don't judge me for Pac-Man. I really like this game. So it uh, looks like, yeah, all the, all the save game data is still intact here. So all of the power-ups and the stuff that I have been uh, upgrading over time is good on this as well. So it looks like uh, that process that I just showed you is the way to get this back. But before you format the card, you got to make sure you move that data back to internal because if you don't, it's going to get erased with the card when you do it. So be very, very cautious when you approach this. And again, you're going to have a lot of difficulty if uh, the stuff on your card now exceeds what you have available to you on your internal storage. So you might want to move that data off into a computer or some other uh, mechanism for backing up your device. Device. This is really not an easy process here, especially if you want to upgrade your storage in the future. So I hope they find some ways to uh, deal with this or at least make this make a little bit more sense because what I assumed was, was the case with uh, Android 6.0 was that the data and the app are kind of an individual package. So you could move that 
app and its data independently of all the other stuff on there. It looks like that's not the way this is working here. So you can move the app data like you could before, uh, the app's actual data, what it uses to execute, but the su supplemental data and the save game data is all part of one big blob that has to live either on the card or on the internal storage, but not on a per app basis. So it's very complicated, again, is how it gets uh, set up on here. And uh, my advice to you, especially if you have a 500 gigabyte unit, is you never even should set up the internal storage at all. Uh, if you're in the market for one of these things and you anticipate that you're going to download a lot of Android applications, uh, my advice is to buy the 500 gig unit, the Pro Edition, uh, over the 16 gigabyte version. I am actually, believe it or not, a very lightweight user uh, of my NVIDIA Shield. So most of the things that I have on uh, my device are smaller uh, games here. I do a lot of game streaming. I have some emulators, but uh, for that I use USB sticks in the back set up as uh, remember, as the uh, uh, portable storage, the removable storage, so uh, those will still work the same way they did before in prior versions of Android. So I don't really personally have a need for expanding this, but if I was a big Android gamer and was downloading you know, gigabyte plus games, this would be something I would have to consider doing. So I think if you are going to do this with a 16 gig unit, uh, I would suggest probably not using an SD card for this because you will fill that up eventually and the speed might be off. Uh, I would actually suggest investing in a fast uh, USB 3.0 hard drive. So you can get a spinning drive, you know, up to like a two terabytes or something or a terabyte. Uh, or you can get some of those new portable SSDs that I reviewed recently. I've looked at one from Samsung as well as one from SanDisk. Uh, both are very, very fast, probably just as fast as your internal storage will be. And I think those would be a nice uh, option for uh, expanding your 16 gigabyte shield storage. But if you really don't have a need to set up internal storage, don't do it yet. I think it's a little too complex uh, and it really doesn't gain all that much to, given what uh, we ran into with this thing. And I, I think you really should avoid it if you can uh, until uh, maybe they, they, Google or NVIDIA or both uh, develop this feature a little bit further. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.